What's going on fam? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC and today we are going to look at the possible knives for testing for August. I want you guys to choose what you want to see tested next month. I have a whole lineup here so I'm going to show you what the options are and I want you guys to leave down in the comments what you would like to see next month and basically we'll do the same as before. Whatever gets the most votes will be carried for all of August. So uh, the first duo that I have here is the S90V duo. Both of these are in S90V. I've tested the Bug Out before and the Native. We already know that these are two of the best EDC knives ever, but I've never tested S90V. I've never really even used it. I'm super curious to see which company does a better heat treat if one is better than the other. Uh, just curious to see how it performs day to day. So these two would be carried together if you guys picked S90V. And then next, we have Rex 45. Another steel that I just don't know too much about. You can see I used it a little bit obviously, but not too much at all. Not enough to get any thoughts on it really. Uh, so if this was chosen, it would be the Rex 45, but also the Para 3 Lightweight, because I've never tested this in full. We've tested the Para 3, but not the Lightweight version, and people are always asking which one is better, and I can't tell you yet because this has never been tested. We still have the Sage 5 Lightweight in M4 that needs to be done, so that's an option. And then I have two other Para 3s one in Maximit and one in BD1N. Both steels that we need to test, not models. And by the way, um, I'm looking to test two at the same time. I just have so much on my plate for testing that it makes it easier to do at least two knives at the same time uh, to, to get it moving faster. Um, Still haven't done the Micro Commander from Emerson. This is in 154 CM steel, and this has micarta scales from the Shutter Dog on it. That's one that we've been waiting on. Still haven't done the S30V Crooked River. Mini Crooked River, I should say. This is not the full size. And by the way, guys, the Mini is huge. <laughs> it is a big full size knife, but that's one that we haven't done yet. And then this last option would be four knives all together and i'll explain why so we have the benchmade mini grip this one is in m4 we have the hogue doug ritter mini ritter you know the the hogue version of the mini grip right and the benchmade bug out in s30v and then my hogue deca in magna cut that i don't have right now because it's over at jared's house uh Neves Knives. He is doing a review on it. Then he has to send it back to me so that I can actually do my testing, but he has it right now, so uh, it's not pictured. But the reason I would do all of those at the same time is because two things. Number one, I want to test all of those steels aside from the S30V because I've already done that. But I do want to do like a comparison of um, the Bug Out versus the Deca because like the DECA, in my opinion, is the Hogue version of the Benchmade Bug Out. So it would be like this model versus the DECA, and then the Mini Grip from Benchmade versus the Mini Ritter from Hogue. So it would be steel testing and model comparisons to see which one is better for me. So um, those are the options for August. I'm very curious to see what you guys vote for. My birthday is in August, so I'm curious to see what I get to carry for my birthday month. But leave down in the comments what you would like to see. Uh, same as last time, please try to combine like a slicey blade with a hard use blade. That's the, the best combination for me. It like wouldn't make sense if your vote was like both of the pair of threes at the same time. Um, I'd much rather do like a pair of three with something like the micro commander, right? So this would be my hard use. This would be my other task. Uh, or like pairing the mini Crooked River with the Sage 5. You see what I'm saying? Put, put, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do two knives, if you're gonna vote for two knives, 
you got to pick a hard use one and a slicey one, right? So yeah, those are the options. Um, quick housing update. We still haven't found anything. Nicole went to an open house over the weekend with our friend Jack, who's going to be moving in with us. It was, the rent was $2,500 a month for like a tiny, like apartment that can house two people. That's like an exponential amount of money and it was literally tiny. So just, it's not going to fly. They would have allowed us to have the six dogs. They were totally fine with that, but there were people living upstairs and it, it was just so small. So that didn't work. Um, so please just keep praying. We're really running out of time here. We have to be out by September and it's almost August. So like, please keep us in your prayers. Please just keep sending good vibes toward us because we really need a place to go. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support and the love. You guys are the best. Go use your shit. Leave your votes down in the comments as to what August will look like for us. And I will see you on the next video. Love you all.